Hello my Capricorn friends, this is your reading for June 2019. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I hope everybody has been doing well. I know I am late with your reading, you guys, but I am here now. Okay, let's see what energy is going around my Capricorn friends. The energy around my Capricorns. The Knight of Pentacles. Trying to plan something out here. Um, trying to work something out is what I'm feeling. Not really trying to rush into anything, um, but giving attention to it. Just not trying to move things along too fast. Because there's definitely something I see that you guys are reflecting on um, from the past here. This is Taurus energy as well. Could definitely be a Taurus that is significant to you guys in this situation. Okay, what's crossing you? Is a Six of Cups energy here. Hmm. I feel like there's there's somebody that um, that you share a connection with that that you feel like is like no other. Um, Scorpio energy is right here. This could be somebody that you have a family situation with. Maybe somebody that you guys are um, currently like not with, but just kind of not really daydreaming but you know thinking about the good times thinking about the family times um and, and possibly thinking about um reuniting with this person but you're not trying to jump the gun here is what i'm saying okay let's see the underlying issue for you guys here is the seven of pentacles you you feel like you've invested a lot of time here but you're not sure whether or not you want to invest more time is it worth it yes we've shared a lot of good times together yes we possibly have a family together even um, and this is a connection where it goes beyond there's something other than love here there there's a feeling of belonging between you and this person it's the way you guys are feeling the way you're looking at this but um, still not being sure whether or not you want to invest more into this situation um, really valuing um, home uh, family spending time we have two cards that fell out here one is the four of swords uh, I definitely feel like you guys have not spoken. You're taking a break from each other here. This is Libra energy. There's something that um, I feel like you're weighing. You're weighing uh, different thoughts in your mind, different things that have gone on. What's the benefit of this relationship? Um, you know, should I give it another chance? Should I give them another chance here? But then we have the Nine of Cups that came out in reverse here. I don't know if you guys really feel like you would be happy with this relationship. If, if your wishes could be fulfilled here. Okay. So there's a lot I feel like you guys are thinking about in regards to this connection you know yeah you definitely share something with this person I feel like that is undeniable but were you really happy can you truly be happy here let's see what was going on in the recent past the moon mm. I feel like you've been kind of going back and forth with your feelings actually and I do feel like there is some some dreaming um, daydreaming even energy going on and I feel like this is shared between the two of you guys I feel like you're reevaluating your feelings because you definitely have very deep feelings for this individual okay either you guys are a mother or if you're a guy you're dealing with maybe the mother of your children but this feels like a strong family dynamic here it could even be um, blended families going on here okay where a child may not be yours but all in all that child is yours because you guys came together as a family and I feel like there's something 
that um, you're really trying to figure out as far as your feelings are concerned, but there's something that you still want to know. There's something that you feel like is not clear to you. Okay, Cancer energy here. The Pisces is here as well. Let's see your crowning thoughts. Is the fool taking a leap of faith? I'm, I'm feeling strongly that there was something that happened between the two of you guys that separated you. I can't see what that is just yet. Um, maybe there was a situation where you felt like you were being foolish for this person or you accepted a lot from this person. This person ended up disappointing you for whatever reason. Um, but. And I think that's what at Nine of Cups came reverse because you have some you have some very good memories, obviously, but there are some things that happened during the course of the relationship that really disappointed you. Okay, and you're not sure if I feel like if if things have changed or if this person has changed, if they've changed enough, can you truly be happy? Can you have that Ten of Cups with this person? The um, you know the ultimate emotional fulfillment in a relationship. But I'm definitely seeing that you guys are wanting to step out on faith and give this another chance here. Okay, or if this is a a um, a new person that you just met, uh, you definitely feel a connection with this individual. Maybe this person does have children. Okay, you're wondering, you know, is it wise to invest here? Because there's some things that you still don't know about the situation. But all in all, I see your crowning thoughts are, hey, um, you know, I just kind of want to leap into this head first. But my good mind is telling me to slow things down a little bit. Just kind of see where things go. What's coming in for my Capricorns? This is Aries energy here with the full. What's coming in for you? Look at this. The Nine of Cups. Your wishes being fulfilled. You being happy. Okay. But the Nines to me are always like single cards. So I feel like whether or not you choose to take a leap of faith with this individual or whether you choose to start over by yourself, you're still going to be happy. You're going to do what it takes to make you happy. Okay, strong, I feel Pisces, Aries energy is here. How are Capricorns looking at their situation currently? The Six of Pentacles. Hmm. You know, I'm getting this this feeling that a lot of you really don't know if you want to really be tied down to one person or situation. I feel like, you know, you've been down that road before. Not saying that you just really want to play the field, but I'm feeling like you, kind of, you guys kind of want to date and see what's out there. A part of you. But the other part of you really wants to, excuse me, settle down and settle into a relationship. But all you know right now is that you want to be happy. Is being by yourself, is that going to make you happy? Or being in a relationship, whether it's with somebody in the past or whether there's somebody new that's actually coming in for you guys here. So that is the decision I feel like that is on the table. It's like figuring out what is it that you want. Do you want this energy, um, this relationship where you really feel this, this kindred spirit with this person, something beyond just love and affection. It's like there's something else there where you guys are feeling really connected on a soul level, you know. <clears throat> What is the influence here for Capricorn? The influence is that you definitely want to be successful. Okay? Um, you, I feel like this is a number seven. And this is a card of Cancer. So I'm feeling like you guys really want that, that, that 
feeling of um, what is the word of belonging of being with someone riding off into the sunset I don't know if you're quite comfortable with giving up your um, your solidarity your singlehood here I feel you being pulled to do so though because there is definitely somebody that I feel like you have a strong emotional connection with here You're trying to decide whether or not you want to be single and just kind of date or whether you want to be in a relationship here, a committed relationship, a, a relationship that could be very profound for you. <clears throat> Let's see, your hopes or fears. It's a page of swords that you won't know <laughs> that you won't get things figured out that you won't know definitively what it is that you want to do that you'll be stuck in like you know this this swing just kind of going back and forth one day you may feel like okay this is it this is the relationship this is a person and the next day it's like do I really want to go there do I really want to go there? Do I really want to be in a situation where I have to consider somebody else's feelings here? One person's feelings. You know, putting somebody, um, not necessarily first, but putting them on the same level with you in regards to your heart and your feelings Let's see, what is the outcome here for Capricorn? This is the King of, oh, the King of Pentacles. I feel like there's a relationship um, that is brewing here. There's definitely a relationship that's brewing here. Um, possibly marriage for some of you, I feel. A situation where uh, there is a strong support system. There is a family unit that I feel is coming together in this situation for you guys. I think this is going to win out over uh, being single for a lot of you. Okay. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Every sign really is um, basically here. Cancer. Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Taurus is here. Virgo may be here. But um, that's what I have for you guys. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.